Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight of the evening is in the tough enough light heavyweight division. Introducing first, standing in the blue corner, making his MMA debut tonight, fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada. Jermaine McDermott! Standing across the cage in the red corner with one win and no losses, fighting out of Mix It Up Academy, Pahrump, Nevada, he is Brandon the Brute Snyder! Referee in charge of the action is Mark Smith. So light heavyweights in the cage. Jermaine McDermott making his amateur debut, has the red logo on his shorts. Brandon Schneider with the white logo. Let's just make it easier. It's the black guy is Jermaine and the white guy is Brandon. Yeah, there's nothing racist in that. Jermaine Southpaw. Again, his amateur debut, training at Extreme Couture. Still very young in the sport, but looks comfortable in there. Yeah, you know, I'd like him to see him keep his front hand up just a little bit more. Um, Get, gets the big takedown, does Jermaine Madura. Now he's on top. Now we said it again. Brandon Schneider's first fight was a 45-second submission win. Is a Drysdale product. Affiliate, anyway, out of Perump. You notice how he keeps on getting his hips offline. As soon as he gets his hips offline, that's when he can begin to trap like he is doing now. And uh, that's where all the submissions are. If you're Jermaine wants to keep him hip to hip or uh, flat with his hips, he, you can see him just keep on shrimping and offsetting his hips. Yeah, Brandon Schneider doing a good job underneath of staying active with his hips. Jermaine McDermott is stepping over on the right hand side, doesn't quite advance. I notice he's put his hand down on the mat a couple times. Schneider hasn't taken advantage of that just yet. But Yeah, I wouldn't ever touch the mat either. That's not a good idea. Jermaine McDermott, his amateur debut, controlling from top position in his opponent's guard right now. Brandon Schneider looks dangerous underneath, nice, continually looking. Pass. Yeah, McDermott steps over on the left-hand side. Great advance position. I personally think that half guard is a very controlling position that you can get great ground and pound. I know you, in normal grappling competitions, you don't get points for only getting half guard. However, in MMA, Great sweep there by Brandon Very Schneider. Nice. Just when it looked like Jermaine McDermott was establishing a nice position. And <laughs> Jermaine on top. Great this action here. Right here. You saw Brandon Schneider trying to secure the, the neck there. Was unable to do that. Jermaine McDermott slammed it to the ground. Looks like we're going to finish the round in the guard. Couple of punches right here at the very end. So a little bit of a back and forth round there. Jake, uh, get your take on that. I know it's tough. Jermaine trains with you at, at Extreme Couture, but a back and forth round. You know, I like to see submission guys earn earn rounds off their back, but I, I don't know. I didn't feel like anything was really close enough to score real points. What did you think? No, you know, I think that if they're going to earn a round off their back, that they at least have to have the submission locked up and, and threatened with it. I know that he attempted a lot of submissions, and it looked like he was close, but, you know, uh, he, he didn't get it. I would give that round to Jermaine, and uh, that's not trying to be biased. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you, Jake. I think, again, Jermaine spent a lot of time at top position, wasn't able to posture up and get a lot of punches in, but at the same time, Brandon Schneider on his back, uh, you know, wasn't able to really lock in any submissions, was moving his hips a lot, was looking for options, but never really got close on anything, never even really a full attempt at anything. So uh, although he was active, I don't think he was scoring any, any real points. Uh, Jermaine in his amateur debut looked pretty comfortable. He's looking good, yeah. He doesn't look like he's scared at all, so. Also, you know, it looks like he's, his breathing is in control there. You mentioned his natural athleticism. Uh, you see a lot of times guys in their amateur debut will come out, and, and man, they just had that adrenaline dump. And oh, even yeah. though it's only a two-minute round, they're just exhausted right away. It looks like he's okay. It looks a lot better than what I did after my first fight. <laughs> <laughs> Deep breath there. We're getting ready for round number two again. Jer Jermaine McDermott there with the, uh, the blue tape on the gloves, the red logo on the short. Brandon Schneider with the red tape. He does have the white logos on the shorts. Jake and I both think Jermaine McDermott took round number one. Again, I'd like to see him keep his hands up just a little bit more. Yeah, good point there, Jake. That was a nice left hand there. Just muscle oh, Schneider hit. off. That was just a powerful move, but locking in the... Can he get the angle with the triangle there? It's difficult from right there. Um, I think that he can survive easily from there. Normally, what I would try to do from there is try to get a spine lock, but, you know, in amateurs, you can't do that. So we'll see what he can pull off from here. You see Jermaine McDermott trying to step over there with the left leg. Does get it around the, the head 
don't know if he's got any offensive uh, opportunities available to him with his with his head trapped in Schneider's legs. As you said, it's a bit of an inverted triangle choke, but I don't know if he's got the angle to, to really put any tension. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't think he does. I think that Jermaine looks like he's keeping his shoulder pretty broad away from his carotid, so um, if he does that, then he should be able to breathe just fine. So right now, more than anything, it's just a distraction. That, and yeah, Schneider finally does let it go. Is he switching to the arm bar? McDermott pulls free. Now he's going to try to land some big right hands. Bit of a north-south position here. He needs this stay calm and stay in control here. This is a scramble position. I don't think any either, either person has control. There we go. Schneider again, a, a grappling specialist, doing well off his back to defend, not allowing McDermott to posture up and rein in punches. But at the same time, Schneider really hasn't been able to offer any significant offense yet. Right now we see McDermott trying to isolate that left arm for perhaps a Kimura, a key lock. A big thing in fights is, is hand control. Whoever has hand control, whether you're the worst grappler or the better grappler, normally the person that wins at hand control is going to get the submission or defend the submission. So hopefully Jermaine doesn't let him have control of his hand like that again. Great point. Final seconds of the second round. Again, it's Jermaine McDermott on top, Brandon Schneider on the bottom big looking for submissions. Now, Desi once now. again, Jake, we're talking about Jermaine McDermott spending a lot of time in top position, wasn't able to posture up a lot and get a lot of punches in. Schneider did have the one, I guess you'd call it a submission attempt with the triangle choke locked in, but again, it, it didn't look like it was close at all. Yeah. What do you think here? Who do, how do man, you have this one? I, my, my favorite part of that round was that punch that he threw from after the takedown. Man, that hurt. I know it did. Good point. Jermaine McDermott had that powerful takedown, really just muscled his opponent to the floor and then yeah. dove in with a big punch. So I, you know, I tell you what, I've got Jermaine McDermott taking the second round as well. I've got him up two rounds to none. But, you know, again, Brandon Schneider has been active on his back, but I, I haven't seen McDermott in any real trouble. Uh, so I don't think you, you can give it to the guy on bottom. I think you have to give it to the fighter on top. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, you never know what these judges are. <laughs> well. And you never know with one more round of the submission, guys. So Very true. I don't want to talk too soon and uh, jinx anything. Very true. All right. Round three here between Jermaine McDermott and Brandon Schneider. Jake Swinney and I both have Jermaine McDermott up two rounds to none. But again, Brandon. Oh, a big leaping right hand to get things started. He wants to go right back to the same place. Incredible that he feels so comfortable uh, with, with a Drysdale affiliated fighter on the ground. But he's done well in the, top, in the uh, first two rounds being in top position. Yeah, you know, I'd agree. I, I, man, this is fight. fighting in the clinch there, and you can just see the strength of Jermaine McDermott as he just shoves Brandon Schneider into the floor. Nice. Once again, Jermaine McDermott setting up a top position. This time does have his hands free, landing a couple of punches. Schneider underneath working the open guard. He needs to stay tighter on the hips, if you notice. Brandon keeps on making space with his hips, and it's going to open up for submission. So hopefully Jermaine will stay tight. Yeah, very important. You can see right now referee Mark Smith steps in here, calls a timeout. I didn't see what happened there. Is somebody sure. bleeding? I'm not just sure why he's stepping in there. I don't know. Was there an illegal strike of some kind? i got to be honest. I didn't see what happened. I didn't see what happened either. Certainly it's not just a stand-up. Yeah, he's, he's talking to him right now. Mark Smith is uh, issuing a warning of some kind. I didn't see maybe illegal elbow or a, some kind of headbutt or something. I, I don't know what happened there. I apologize. I didn't see that in live action. But we're going to start back out on the feet. Less than a minute to go in the third round. Keep your hands up, Jermaine. You said it, that right hand very, very low. Ducked into an uppercut there, but just muscles through for another takedown to Jermaine McDermott. Once again, top position, controlling, landing punches when he can. Schneider, when he hit the deck, looked kind of frustrated, to be honest with you. Yeah, he, he's, he mumbled something. <laughs> as soon as Jermaine hit him, the first punch on the ground, he mumbled something. He's yep. not happy. Schneider did get his foot on the hip there, trying to create some space. Got a warning for grabbing the cage. See, now watch this Kimura here. Yep. Leaning over for the Kimura. He's got it. 15 seconds left in third and final round. The can key, he crank it? The key to the Kimura is if you can get it behind the person's back, it's almost guaranteed. That's what Frank Mir did to Noguera. That's why he was able to keep it the whole time. So McDermott. the exact opposite. If Jermaine, oh, it's, oh, it's very close. Back. 
final seconds of the third round. Man. Cranking on the Kimura from underneath is Brandon Schneider nice, looking for the come from behind win. Not going to get it. McDermott on top. I was saves scared. the arm. That's a good fight. It was a very good fight. Again, Jermaine McDermott, his amateur debut, looked very comfortable in there, was good in top position, kept himself safe. You can see Brandon Schneider uh, exhausted after that, having the, the weight of the big man on top of him. Uh, I guess, again, we, you know, we're trying to award a guy points off his back. He did have a decent Kimura attempt, but again, wasn't able to really crank it. I, I think Jermaine McDermott takes this in a clean sweep. Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Depending on the, uh, depending on what judge is back there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it. I mean, don't let it go to the judges. That's become such a cliche in the sport, but it, but it is. And I mean, I, I as you know, as a jujitsu fan and as an MMA fan, I always like to look for opportunities for guys to to take rounds from their backs. I think sometimes guys don't get enough credit, but uh, you know, as active as his hips were, Brandon Schneider, I just didn't see anything that really scored underneath. There, there was nothing really tight, like you said earlier in the fight, Jake. You gotta, you gotta have something almost locked in where it's a near finish, and there was definitely nothing along those lines. So, uh, I, I think Jermaine McDermott takes a unanimous decision win here in his amateur debut. We'll find out if that's the case. Both fighters lining up. Justin Bernard in there to give the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, after a three-round war, we have your winner by unanimous decision, the blue corner, Jermaine McDermott. So, Jake, as we predicted, Jermaine McDermott takes a decision win. He moves to 1-0 and in his amateur career. Brandon Schneider is now followed to 1-1. and Extreme Mark here, the referee. On the night. Mark here, the referee, he's saying that uh, that warning was an unintentional elbow to the head. So Unintentional elbow. No points taken. Jermaine McDermott walks away with decision win. Extreme Couture goes 2-0 in the night. Nice start for them. Stay tuned. We've got eight more fights coming your way at Tough Enough, the future stars of mixed martial arts.